Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you my newest bag from Celine. It's the Triumph bag in the size teen. Actually, it sounds like I have a whole bunch of Celine bags, but I actually don't. The only other one I have is my beloved Nano luggage. Um, so I still use and love this one a lot. Um, I like Celine because of the minimal branding. So I decided to pick this one up because of course that large logo is minimal, right? Um, I guess it is to some people. I don't find it overly large, um, but I do find it extremely noticeable. I happened to be in a Target store uh, prior to purchasing this and it just stood right out on the girl's body. She had the teen size as well and you know, there's just no looking away from it. It is an attention getter, that logo on the front. That piece of hardware is, yeah, I don't know what it's screaming because a lot of people might not realize that it's a Celine bag, but it certainly is an attention getting uh, design. Um, which draws the eye. I absolutely love it. Um, I like the box bag as well, but it didn't call to me the way this one did. Um, and I picked it up in the size teen. Actually, I picked it up in the size medium first, and I found it a bit too heavy and a bit too large. Um, when I went down to the teen size, it is a little bit small, but it just overall is a better size for me. So I decided to stay with this one. It might be coming across as black, but it's actually a beautiful navy color. And I did pick it up pre-loved, but in brand new condition. Um, and I believe Fashion File, uh, someone was a little tipsy when they listed it because they listed it for $1,800. So I don't know what happened there. Um, but I picked it up at $18.95, so a ridiculously good price and nowhere whatsoever. Um, so somebody lost it. It was my my gain. Um, absolutely love it. It's a really, really beautifully made bag. I'm actually afraid to touch it because it's a shiny calfskin and it just is a magnet for fingerprints and a magnet for scratches. So it's almost like you don't want to touch it because it's so glossy and so beautiful. There's no feet on the bottom. Um, and no pocket on the back. You open it by pressing on the two C's right here, but only one of them is actually functional, and it's this one right here on this side. This one is uh, stationary, but you can still press it to open the bag, and you flip it up. Um, and then in order to get it back down, you press back down. So you press on both, one of them opens. That's the interior flap. It still has the blue sticker. And you actually have like, I guess five compartments. You have a slip pocket way in the back, right here, then you have a space right here, then you have a zipper, then you have the main open compartment, and then another compartment in the front. So one, two, three, four, five spaces to put your items, um, but it does get very tight very fast. That's how it looks when it's extended out. Uh, a lot of the ones that I looked at, even though the bag hasn't been out that long, had a lot of cracking on the strap. Um, they didn't look to be holding up as well as the box bags, but I guess only time will tell. Um, so it's approximately in its size seven and a quarter inches length, five and a quarter inch in its height, and about two and a quarter inch in its width. You have a strap drop that's about 20 inches. It's not the most generously sized. Um, you do have a little piece right here of leather to keep it down. And there are on mine, one, two, three, four, five, six adjustments. Um, so there's the bag right there. I think the easiest thing for me to do is take a comparable size bag, which happens to be my Hermes uh, mini bow lead and see if all of the contents in here will go in here. That'll just give you an idea of what will fit in the bag. I find that the most helpful of all the things in reviews is just tell me what fits. Um, so these two bags are actually very comparable in size, seven and a quarter. I believe this one is listed as seven and a half. They're both approximately the same height um, and width wise, pretty much the same. So let me take everything out of this little tiny bag here and see if it'll fit in here. Um, the only downside with this, like I said so far, is fingerprints and scratches. I have a lotion, a hand sanitizer, my key fob, a little wallet, my phone, which is six and a half inches, a little bag of candy, and a pair of sunglasses in a soft case. Um, but they could be reading glasses or whatever it is that you use. Let me push that off to the side. Um, I also pulled out a mini pochette, and I'll just try that right now. Since it's empty, let's see if a mini pochette will fit in there. And it fits in that middle compartment, as you can see. Now let's see if it goes anywhere else, just for your sizing reference. It does not go in the front. 
and it does not go in the back. So if you have a mini pochette and would like to put a few items inside of it, that's where it would go. So I guess I could leave it in there. That's not, well, it's not something I would really care. So I'm gonna take that out. Let's see about the phone. My phone is six and a half inches in this outer pocket right here, the first pocket. That's a no for six and a half inches. It's too beyond. Center compartment is fine, and I do have a little room up against the edges, so if you have something longer than six and a half, it should be okay. There is space on the side right there. And then in the back, that's also a no. So the only compartment where a phone would likely fit is right there. Uh, wallet, let's put the wallet in. The wallet will easily drop in there. A little bag of candy lotion find uh, since the times I've used it so far which not very frequent I've not had it that long um, but I've really only made use of the main compartment because that's where everything seems to fit the best as you can see uh, key fob can go on top right there and then sunglasses can go probably in the back back there and let's see how it closes or if it's gonna close let's see and it closes up so it does fit enough, I would say, for a day out, a small day out, short day out. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really fit my essentials for me. So for me, it would be more of an evening out bag, a uh, going out bag. Um, but for some of you, it might serve the purpose of being an all day bag. So let's put the phone and a wallet. And how about if I move, let's put my key fob somewhere else. I don't have someone else to drive me, so unfortunately I always have to have the key fob with me if I'm using my vehicle, which I normally am. Let's see if it goes back there. So it can go back there. And then how about hand sanitizer? Would it go up here? You can see that even though it's got like a lot of compartments, you have to be kind of careful how you pack it or else it's not gonna close. And you can see up at the top how it would distort if you overstuff it. Um, so although it seems to have quite a lot of room in there, my opinion, it really doesn't. And that's why I end up using the main compartment all the time. Let's go ahead and put the mini pochette back in there. Maybe move the wallet away. Let's put a wallet back there. The softer and more flexible your items are, the easier it'll be to get in and out. So those are like a better fit because they're all, except the phone, pretty flexible. Like the pochette is flexible, that wallet is flexible. Let's see about the keys. Right there, maybe it's my fault for having a large key fob, I don't know. And then sunglasses on the top. And once again, it won't close. So five compartments, and you can really only use maybe two of them comfortably. Um, but that's a little better, just a few items inside. Um, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. I haven't had it long enough to um, know all of the cons. For me, the cons are already the shiny uh, calf material, which is not scratch resistant, of course. You're going to end up with a lot of fingerprints. I have relatively... I have very short nails um, and I still see scratches already. Um, and then the capacity, even though you are tricked into believing that there's a large capacity, there really isn't. Only really small items can go in these outer pockets. Um, and as soon as you start actually using all the pockets and bulking it up, you're going to have trouble closing the bag. So just two of the things that I have already become aware of. Uh, if you have any questions or you particular, in particular want me to try something in the bag, let me know. Once again, it's the teen size of the Celine Triumph. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.